I'm Jared Hall. I've been married to my wife, Melissa, for seven years. We've got two daughters, Jocelyn and Sophia. Jocelyn's seven, and uh, Sophia's four. I hired on with Carmuse Salima Stone at Maysville, Kentucky as a maintenance planner in June of 2010. Uh, at the time of my accident, I was filling in for the uh, maintenance supervisor. I started that morning around 6.15 a.m. I uh, started the crew off by handing out work orders. Decided my uh, morning needed to be spent on uh, LS4 where we were performing a vulcanized splice and that's where my time was needed. Our maintenance department was working with a contractor that morning on the uh, LS4 vulcanized splice. The maintenance department was raising the counterweight and it was very hot that morning. I was helping them raise the, the counterweight with the come along and as I thought we had enough slack in the belt, I started heading down the catwalk to get with the, co the contractor to see if we did have enough slack. It was around 9.30, 10 o'clock that morning. Uh, I've watched 10 or 15 people come up and down that catwalk. Now, I've always been a little leery of heights, not really scared of heights, but uh, always conscious of them. And I, I always pay attention to the catwalk and stuff I'm walking on. And the catwalk I was walking down that morning looked as good as any of I've been on in my career. That particular piece of grading I stepped on, a sheet of paper would have gave you just as much of resistance as that did. I was reaching for handrail, whatever I could get a hold of, and luckily I didn't grab a hold of anything and landed on my feet instead of my back. But when I hit the ground, my foot just exploded. My name is Gavin Perkins. Uh, at the time of the accident, I was an electrician slash mechanic. Uh, that particular day, we had several, several maintenance issues and items going on in the crushing and screening area. Uh, I knew there was a lot of work going on in the LS4 area, and I had been even on that area earlier that day. Um, another employee and myself were working in the LS3 tunnel when we heard across the radio that Jared had fell. Uh, at that point, we really didn't know what happened, but I immediately got up and headed up the hill towards LS4. As I was heading to LS4 from the LS3 tunnel, uh, I first noticed a piece of catwalk hanging uh, from above. Uh, I then saw the hole in the catwalk and knew that he had fell through the catwalk. Um, my first concerns were a possible neck, back, or head injury. Um, as I got closer, I saw Jared on the ground and immediately went to him and did a primary assessment. Um, he was conscious, he was uh, moving, and he had severe pain in his legs. Um, other employees were around, and I immediately sent one of those to get a first aid kit, neck brace, back brace, backboard, and to call 911. I was taken by ambulance to uh, Meadowview Regional Medical Center here in Maysville, where my wife's an RN is in the outpatient surgery department. When help arrived on the scene here at the site, they asked me if they want, or if I wanted them to call my wife and let her know what had happened. And at that time, I thought I'd broke my leg, and I didn't want her to know that I'd fell 20 plus feet. So they called to tell her that I was on my way with a broken foot. Uh, when I got to the hospital, the doctor come in and after taking x-rays and doing the MRIs and all that, he come back and told me that I couldn't have done any more damage to my foot if I took a 10,000 pound weight and dropped it from 20 feet right on my foot. You know, after Jared had left in the ambulance, we immediately started looking at solutions to what happened to make sure it didn't happen again. The area was taped off and we began to, began to look around to see if there were any other affected areas we needed to stay out of. Um, it's hard to realize, you know, 20 to 25 feet, that's a long way to fall. Um, and definitely could have been a lot worse. Um, and we all realized that it could have happened to any one of us that day. Several of us had been up that catwalk that same morning. Um, one of the most disturbing issues is, you know, where Jared fell was approximately five to six feet from a large concrete pillar that was used as a structural support. Um, if he'd have hit that, you know, it's hard telling where he'd be today. In all, I went through two surgeries on my foot. The first one, they, they put in several screws, two pins, all kinds of wire, and uh, three months later, went back in and removed the hardware. I returned to work uh, around, right around Thanksgiving and was on a light duty basis. I was still in a cast, couldn't walk without, a, uh, without crutches, and I was non-weight bearing for six months. Right, the catwalk out here rides on two beams and the, the conveyor in which the catwalk runs beside is carrying limestone which is very corrosive. 
That limestone gets built up between the, cat, the catwalk and the beams. And the catwalk was probably around 25 years old. So over time, it, it deteriorated that catwalk. And the piece of grading that I stepped on, there was a perfect strip that ran across the beam laying on the ground beside it. Following the incident, we uh, started on a huge number of structural inspections throughout the plant. Uh, as we did these structural inspections, we found some existing issues and corrected them immediately. Um, Carmoose had a huge financial uh, investment in these structural repairs uh, throughout the plant. Um, that's not to mention the trickle-down effect to other facilities, uh, particularly the Black River facility where we looked at this accident and expanded our structural inspections, to particularly catwalks. Since that time, Carmuse has contracted out a structural inspection program where a contractor comes in and uses chipping hammers to check the integrity of the steel in our structures. Uh, they label those findings as P1, P2, or P3. The P1s is something we've got to get on right now. P2s you have six months to a year, and, and P3s one to three years. Uh, if that inspection program was in place prior to this accident, I believe it could have been avoided and would have been found on that inspection. At the time of my accident, my oldest daughter was a year old, and my wife was a uh, RN at Meadowview Regional Medical Center, and with me being non-weight bearing for six months, I depended a lot on my life for, for the normal everyday life stuff that I couldn't do. And she was taking care of me and our little girl at the same time. And I know there were several days, bless her heart, she went to work for an hour of sleep. I know most everyone's had the dream where you're falling and, and you wake up just before you hit the ground. I was waking up with night terrors after the, after the accident. Um, I had the dream where I was falling, but I, I know what it's like to hit the ground. Carmel Use has a motto, nothing we do is worth getting injured. And I truly believe they believe that. If I didn't, I wouldn't have come back to work. I've got two little girls at home that I intend to go home to every night, and I'm going to do everything in my power to do that. Carmel Use has a superior commitment to safety. If we can't do it safely, we're not going to do it at all. Uh, typically every morning we have a safety topic. Uh, and that conversation is initiated by the supervisor. Also in those meetings, we typically do slam risk assessments. Safety is truly number one to me. I can live with telling my boss that we're gonna be without a kiln for the day, but I don't wanna to go to somebody's wife and tell them that we've lost her husband. And we preach that every day. We want you to go home from work the same way you come in, and we want you to come into work the same way you went home. When you see an accident or involved with an accident, it really makes you step back and look at the way you're doing things. Uh, I'm a firm believer that nothing we do is worth getting injured, uh, and that's an absolute first and always. Something else Carm used to started here recently is a show us your, your safety at home pro, uh, program. And what that is is we encourage employees to take pictures of them and their family members doing uh, any activity at home and, and what they've done to, to uh, raise the safety factor there. So we encourage all our employees to uh, work safe at home and to uh, play safe at home. As for me, my foot will never be 100% again. And to be honest with you, in the process of healing, I went through several different emotions. I was angry, depressed. But when I saw what Carl Muse was doing in regards to the structural inspections and, and the corrections they were making there, that's when I got back on board. In the minutes, even seconds prior to my accident, everything was great. Everything was going as planned. Weekend was coming up. I had a golf scramble to play in, and everything changed in an instant.